and crafters, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and I am here to share a really fun card that I created for a card swap that I'm in with some other demonstrators that's coming up next week. And we are sharing projects from the upcoming Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. And this catalog is just about to launch. The products are right now available for demonstrators and will be available for customers on September 1st. If you're in the United States and would like a hard copy of this, drop me an email at my email address here and be sure to include your mailing address and I'll be happy to send you one. So today's video tutorial is going to be full of tips and techniques. I've got so much to show you and yet you're not going to believe how easy this super cool card is to make. We're going to do a little emboss resist, some brayering, I'm going to show you how to make this cool shadow effect on a brand new edgelet and a little tip on how to use those edgelets so all the pieces pop right out every time you use them. All right, let's get started. I designed this for a demonstrator swap that I'm, particip that I'm participating in. <laughs> I'm making a bunch of these and swapping them with other demonstrators. But when I came up with the shadow technique, I just thought this was so cool, especially on this beautiful brayered background. That is like, she sells, she sells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Beautiful brayered background. Woohoo! I did it! Score! It just is so beautiful with this brayered background with the snowflakes. Awesome! Lots of cool techniques in here. We'll start by doing the background. This is a brand new stamp set coming out September 1st from the holiday catalog, which is only next week. Wow, crazy. Using the snowflakes and the silent night from this one. And if you're new to my channel, thanks, be sure to subscribe. You can get all of the Supply list, purchase the supplies, get the measurements for this project and all of the details on my stampwithtammy.com blog at this URL or by clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. Or if you're on YouTube, just click right on this video. Starting with our Whisper White panel and some Versamark. Gonna stamp, stamp, stamp this snowflake across the back. It's really hard to see on YouTube, so sorry. <laughs> But no, it's there. And it's a little sticky, which is going to come in handy. This is just some scrap paper from my printer folded in half to catch the excess powder. We've got white heat embossed powder. Pouring that right over the whole card. Making sure I've got all the snowflakes covered. And flicking off any extra. Now you can see this a little bit better. Going to pour this excess powder right back in the jar. These last forever. I'm gonna break out our heat tool and we're gonna heat up these snowflakes. Now I went a little bit towards the bottom and I really didn't need to because we're gonna cover up the bottom a little bit, but that's totally fine. So we're embossing white on white and this is melting the powder and raising it and it's so, so cool. I hope you can see this on the video. You can see, there, there you can see it in the light, just awesome. Now we're really gonna make this pop. I've got three different colors of blue, soft sky, marina mist, a Knight of Navy, and our brayer, and don't be afraid that my brayer looks a little discolored here. I accidentally ran it through a permanent black ink pad by mistake once, and now it's permanently black, but it didn't really harm it. It just makes it uniquely mine. <laughs> um, when you're using your brayer, I'm just going to roll this into view. When you're using your brayer, do you see how I'm rolling and lifting and rolling and lifting, and I'm doing this multiple times to get a good coating of ink on the brayer. I'm going to go kind of fast but I want this to be really inked up and it's it's important that you lift because when you don't lift you end up getting lines in your brayer and then the lines roll out. I'm going to do the whole back in this soft sky and I'm just going to keep rolling until I'm happy with the color. Ink it up. I'm moving a little left to right to get good coverage on here. If you get lines just keep rolling until you roll them right out. And I'm lifting, I'm rolling Starting off the cardstock, rolling off the cardstock, and then lifting to come back instead of seesawing. This also helps prevent lines. See how the embossed snowflakes resisted that ink? Such a beautiful and cool technique. Moving on to our next darkest color, and you can just rinse this under the sink to clean it. Since we're going darker and darker, I'm not even cleaning in between, which, which I know probably isn't great, but I'm still doing it. Okay, we're going to ink up each time. This time I'm going to start off the side and I'm just rolling down gradually. 
to get a little graduation of the Marina Mist color. Notice how I keep inking it up so I get good color on there. Now, as I go down gradually, it gives us a graduation of the color. So see how that it's darker and it gradually turns into the soft sky. We're gonna finish it off with some Night of Navy. Now the Night of Navy, I am literally just doing the very, very tippy top here. And I'm just, again, moving really slowly down so it gives it a little gradual, just slowly moving sideways as you're rolling, just a hair will give you that blended look. And when you're done, wow, right? Is that amazing? Some snail adhesive attaches our main snowflake panel with the silver foil and our Knight of Navy card base. Always when you're working with dark cardstock, I recommend lining it with some Whisper White or Very Vanilla. Okay, now we're making our sleigh. I'm a poet. <laughs> Don't you know it? I know that was corny, right? These are, um, these are edgelet dies for the big shot machine. These are so cool. They actually are, are blades, and yet here I am touching them with my fingers and they're not cutting me, but they are blades. It's gonna cut this very, very cool sleigh ride silhouette edge. If it's the first time you've ever used an edgelet or an intricate die for the big shot, I do have a video on this on the dryer sheets for the edgelets, and I also have one for dryer sheets on a card. Um, but I recommend taking a couple of dryer sheets and taking your and taking either your die or your edgelets and running them through the big shot with the with these edgelets. You can actually run them all through at once. And what will happen is you get a little bit of the coating from the dryer sheet underneath here, and it causes it not to stick to the cardstock, so everything just pops right out. And you, you really just only have to do this like once or once every like 100 cards or whatever. It does. I don't do it very often. It really makes a difference. I've got a magnetic platform and then our dryer sheets and edgelets are in between two cutting pad sandwich. And that's it. And then we can get started. Again, magnetic uh, magnetic platform, one cutting pad down. I've got the measurements for this cardstock on the stampwithtammy.com blog. Just line that up right where you want it on the cardstock and then a cutting pad on top and break it through. And that's it. That This literally just pops right out. Awesome. I'm gonna repeat that step one more time on a little piece of Knight of Navy scrap paper. And we just need the horse and the sleigh on this one. This is going to become our shadow. Now, before I go ahead and attach that, we'll put our words on here. Now, our words are heat embossed in silver. So we're gonna stamp the Silent Night and the Versamark that we used on the snowflakes. Again, just some scrap paper here to catch the excess. Some silver heat embossed powder. Pour it over, flick off the excess. Instantly regret that you didn't use a embossing body every single time I do this. You'd think I would learn. Heat it with the heat tool, and this time you'll really be able to see it with the silver. One of my favorite embossing colors. So classy. It's a wow every time. So I took a little um, snail adhesive and put it on the back of our sleigh so it will be sticky and then just lined up our knight of navy underneath it if i do it over here you can actually see it see the shadow just a hair just enough and it's pow just wow right really makes us just pop and look amazing and then just some snail on the back of that panel attaches it to the card base and ah some amazing right just so very very cool so that was just jam-packed with techniques between the brayer the dryer sheet on the edgelet the emboss resist heat embossing and making a shadow with our edgelet just all kinds of cool stuff on that card <gasps> wow right <laughs> and when you give this to someone you are gonna get a wow back they're gonna think you spent hours on this card and you don't have to tell them otherwise. Be sure to visit my blog for hundreds more video tutorials, daily inspiration, even more than I post here on YouTube, and my Facebook page where I post multiple times a day. Thanks for joining me today.